Well, good morning, my loves. Um, today is Wednesday, and it is week two of intro and pre-med three. And today I want to go over the worksheets with you, okay? I know you got two of them. You got one that was a lot of questions, and the other one was a lot of questions. We're going to go over this one first, okay? All right. <laughs> Number one, the four main structures of the female reproductive system are ovaries, fallopian tube, uterus, and vagina. All right, got it? All right, number two, the female gonads are also referred to as the ovaries. Number three, within the female gonads or ovaries, there are thousands of microscopic sacs called graphene follicles, G-R-A-A-F-I-A-N follicles, or ovarian follicles. And this is the sac or the shell where the ovum or egg develops. All right, well, look at question number four. Each of these sacs contains um, the female sex cell or gamete or ovum, which is also referred to as an egg. Five, when the female sex cell, the egg or ovum, you uh, rupture, oh, I'm sorry, matures, the microscopic sac, this little bitty sac that can only be seen with a microscope, migrates to the outermost edge of the female gonad, which is the ovary, and ruptures. This is called ovulation. Here we go. Here's your ovary, and here comes the follicle. It ruptures open. Ovulation. Or it's also called rupture of the graphene follicle. All right. The egg or ova is swept by finger-like projections. Remember the end of that fallopian tube? Finger-like projections called fembrii into the fallopian tube. And I know that line is awfully short to try and write fallopian tube on. Um, the fallopian tube is about five and a half to six inches long. And it is the egg is propelled along to go to the uterus, all right? If the egg forms a union with the male sex cell, okay, which is the sperm, this process is known as fertilization or conception, either one. Number eight, if this union takes place, the egg is now referred to as a zygote, Z-Y-G-O-T-E, from zero to two weeks. As it matures from two to eight weeks, it's known as an embryo, E-M-B-R-Y-O. Between eight and 40 weeks, it's referred to as a fetus, and from 40 weeks to the age of 18, it's called a tax deduction. But I didn't say that. All right, uh, number nine. Uh, let's see, if the union does take place, the zygote travels, and travels is spelled wrong, to the pear-shaped organ known as the uterus, and implants into the lining. Remember that innermost lining? It's called the endometrium. Remember the innermost lining. Now, if the union does not take place between the male and female sex cells, the egg begins to disintegrate and is passed out of the body with the menstrual cycle, which is the shedding of the lining of the uterus. And this lining is also the endometrium, same one that it would have been planted in. After ovulation occurs, the graphene follicle, ovulation, pff, the egg is out. The graphene follicle, that shell that contained the ovum, is now referred to as corpus luteum. Remember yellow body? And uh, let's see, it's called corpus luteum, and it fills with blood and a yellow material, hence the name, and it acts as an endocrine gland, all right? And it's gonna secrete two female hormones, estrogen and progesterone. And progesterone is the one that really gives you morning sickness, okay? Besides the HCG we talked about. Number 12, if fertilization does not occur, and that's spelled wrong, the egg shrivels, and that's spelled wrong, and dies, causing a decrease in the hormone level, triggering menstruation, okay? Number 13, the approximate period or time period between ovulation and menstruation cycle is two weeks, just like um, Money Pit. Everything was two weeks, two weeks. Okay, <laughs> name the exterior structures of the female breast. 
you have the areola, which is the colored area around the nipple, and you have the papilla, which is the nipple. What's the medical term for inflammation, spelled wrong, of the fallopian tubes? It's salpingitis. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped number 15. Name the divisions of the uterus from top to bottom. You have the fundus, the corpus, and the cervix, which is the lower part or mouth of the uterus. Number 17, what signs and symptoms of the disorder, of this disorder are backache, pelvic pain, and abnormal bleeding? Fibroids, and remember these fibroids are usually benign, okay? Number 18, opening of the cervix and scraping of the inside of the uterus is referred to as, and you got another real short line here, dilation and curatage. And the abbreviation, of course, would be DNC. Number 19, the medical term for the backward displacement of the uterus. Remember the uterus, normally in a female, if I was facing sideways, the uterus would be this way. This is called retroversion. Number 20, if the uterus is removed and the ovaries and fallopian tubes are left in place, this is just a hysterectomy. Hyster means uterus or female. So it's a hyster and ectomy is surgical removal of. Remember, the first part of the word tells you the body part. The second part of the word is going to tell you what's going on with it. Now, this procedure causes the inability to have children, and the inability to have children is called sterility. The male sex cell is also referred to, I need the long official name, not just sperm, because I have that there. It's known, known as spermatozoa, S-P-E-R-M-A-T-Z-O-A. -A. The male gonads are called the testes, and these are the primary sex organs of the male. The interstitial cells, okay, that cells around an organ, the interstitial cells of the male gonad produce the male hormone called testosterone. Now this loose fitting skin over the glands penis or the very end of the penis is referred to either one or two things, prepuce or foreskin, all right? Okay, now I know you have another uh, worksheet have it right here. Can you see? Okay, we're going to go over this one. And a lot of this is going to be repetitious, but I think you kind of get the hint. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's going to be 50 questions on your test, and the diagrams will be there with a word bank. <coughs> Excuse me. Number one, female reproductive system consists of two ovaries, two fallopian tubes, one uterus, one vagina. Estrogen and progesterone are both what? They're female hormones. Now, don't forget, ladies, we have a wee, 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 wee little bit of testosterone. That's what gives us our libido or our sex drive. And men, yes, they do have a wee, wee, teeny, tiny bit of estrogen. And you'll hear them say, oh, that's my feminine side coming out, okay? But that's how it works. Uh, where's the cervix located? at the mouth of the uterus, the mouth of the uterus. And the uterus is a muscular organ about the size of a, well, it's the size of your fist, but it's the shape of a pear. But the answer is pear, okay? It's the shape of a pear. A pap smear is a test for cancer in females. Now, let me get on my bandwagon a little bit about this, all right? A lot of ladies think they don't have to start having pap smears until they're sexually active, you know, or, or until they're, like, let's say, that no, I'm sorry, until they're 21. I don't need a pap smear. I'm not 21 yet. I'm not 21. You need a pap smear when you become sexually active. I don't care how old you are or how young you are. There are free clinics you can go to, no questions asked, and they also provide birth control different forms, condoms, birth control, pill prescriptions, whatever you need, all right? So let me tell you something. The, this is, pap smear is nothing to play with, all right? Every year you should get a pap smear. Why, don't you get the oil changed in your car? 
don't you get gas put in your car like every few days or every few weeks? Well, then why wouldn't you check your body? And this is only once a year. Come on, ladies. Nobody's going to do this for you, okay? We're going to have to do it ourselves. Number six, a fibroid tumor, F-I-B-R-O-I-D, is usually benign and may or may not show symptoms like backache. And these are, again, like I said, the uterus is usually nice and smooth like this. And when you have fibroids, it kind of looks like this because the uterus is nothing but layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of muscle. And sometimes that muscle starts to turn in on itself and it'll start to grow. And it's these little tumors, all right? You can get fibroids in the breast. Remember I told you that too, once a month breast exam. Okay, number seven, an ovum develops inside what? The ovum is gonna develop in a follicle. And the follicle is going to develop in the ovary. The ovum is the egg. It's going to develop in a follicle or shell. And then that shell is inside the ovary. As the follicle enlarges one time a month, one of them is going to enlarge. It does what? How does it get to the outer surface of the ovary? It migrates. Okay. It kind of travels and it's seeking its way to the surface of the ovary. Ovaries now contain thousands of microscopic sacs called ovarian follicles. These, here's the ovary, and you've got thousands of little sacs inside the ovary, ovarian follicles, and inside those are the eggs. Um, a rupture of the graphene follicle and ovulation. Is that the same thing? Yes, it is. Yes, 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 it is. Okay, same thing. What occurs about two weeks before your menstrual period? Ovulation. Now, let me explain something to you. I know I gave you that menstruation sheet with the dates on it. Please notice the only way you use the rhythm method, if you've ever heard of that method of birth control, is if your menstrual cycle is every 28 days on the clock. I mean, the same time every 28 days. And one thing I want you to look at that uh, diagram and show you, your mens you are ovulating 14 days from the first day of your menstrual period. Let's see if I can find it here. You're not ovulating 14 days after your menstrual cycle ends. It's 14 days after the first day of your menstrual cycle. So keep that straight unless you want us to call you mama, okay? I don't think I have it right here. Let's see. Nope, that's not it. Nope, let me show you right here. I have this, all right? Days one through five are your menstrual cycle. Days seven through 13 are the proliferative phase. That's when the follicle is migrating toward the surface. Day 14, and notice it's day 14 from the first day of your cycle ovulation okay and from there you have the secretory phase where hormones are secreted and then you have the phase where the corpus luteum okay it's going to eventually go back in so but remember ovulation is the 14th day from the first day of your menstrual cycle otherwise we're going to be mama okay all right <laughs> um the shedding of the uterine lining is called what? And I know we're going to mispronounce it, but it's menstruation. Uh, it's just something. The ovum will disintegrate, or the ovum or egg, same thing. It's going to disintegrate or die if it's not fertile. Oh, I gave you the answer. If it's not fertilized in one to two days, it's going to hang out in the fallopian tube for a while. Remember, it can't travel on its own. So it's moved along by these little bitty hairs called cilia, all right? It's like little hairs you have in your nose. You know, disgusting, but anyway, that's how the ovum or egg moves along. And it, it takes a good two to three days to move from the beginning to the end of the fallopian tube. And if it's not fertilized in one to two days, it's gonna disintegrate and die. 14, the zygote becomes embedded in what organ? 
hopefully it embeds in the uterus, okay, uh, after fertilization. It can, however, embed in the fallopian tube. That is not what we want. That's called a tubal pregnancy. It is not going to survive. It will not live till viability. It won't make it, all right? Number 15, an embryo is the fertilized ovum from conception to two months. After that, what is it called? From the embryo, it goes to the fetus stage, all right? From eight to 40 weeks. Number 16, what's another word for conception? Now, I know we have a lot of um, fun words for it, but really we call it fertilization, all right? What is the abbreviation for the intrauterine device? That is an IUD, intrauterine device. And a history, I'm sorry, a gamete is a what? Gamete is a sex cell, the egg or the sperm. Gonad is the organ, the ovary, okay, or the testicles. And a hysterectomy is what? That is removal of the uterus, just the uterus, that's it, okay? And the abbreviation for dilation and curatage, I'm giving it to you, D and C. And painful menstruation, now here's a new one. It is called dysmenorrhea, right here. D-Y-S-M-E-N-O-R-R-H-E-A. Now dys means difficult or pain. This is a three-part word. Dys is difficult or painful. Meno is menstruation. And rhea is watery discharge. All right, so you're gonna have a watery discharge and it's gonna be painful. Remember what's happening. The uterine lining is falling off because no egg was fertilized, all right? And yeah, sometimes women have more cramps than others. It just depends. Okay, <clears throat> and retroversion. Remember, not facing this way, but if the uterus is facing that way. Retroversion is a backwards uterus. <clears throat> inflammation of the fallopian tubes. Here we go. It's salpingitis. Salping is fallopian. Itis is inflammation. The organ and what's happening to it. Okay? There you go. All right. The areola is the colored portion uh, that surrounds the what? The nipple. Sterility is described as the inability to conceive or reproduce the sterile. And like I said, if you have guys that are wearing those tight, 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 cute pants to show their butts off and you're trying to get pregnant, that may not be the best piece of clothing for them, okay? Loose and baggy, that's how it goes. Because why? Testicles have to be suspended outside of the body cavity so it's not 98.6 degrees, okay? They need it around 96 degrees. Okay, fertilization is described as what? The union of what? The egg and the sperm, okay? Those are the gametes, the sex cell, egg and sperm. Prepuce, another word for prepuce is foreskin, and that's the loose-fitting skin that covers the end of the penis. If the male has been circumcised, they don't have that, okay? All you're gonna see is the glands penis, the tip of the penis, which is very, very sensitive, okay? And the male sex cell is called sperm, and the sperm are the gonads or gametes? Which one? <gasps> Gamete. The male hormone is testosterone. Orchitis, here's another good one. Orchitis is inflammation of the testicles. Orco is testes, itis, inflammation. Remember I told you, we get the gynecology and the menstruation, they get orchids, they go figure. Okay, and the primary sex organ of the male. It's not what you're thinking. The primary sex organ are the testicles. Those are the gonads. Organ, gonad, testicles. Organ, gonad, ovaries, all right? Finally, we all have how many chromosomes? 
Now, I didn't specify a sex cell. We all together have how many chromosomes? 46. If I were to ask you the egg and the sperm have how many each, it would be 23. All right? Anybody got any questions so far? Or are we doing okay? We doing all right? Okay, let's finish this up and see how we're going to do tomorrow. Now, don't forget, there's a diagram on the te test tomorrow, okay? Just wanted you to make sure oh, you remembered that. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Um, let's see. Um, the muscular organ the size of a pear, the size of a pear, is the uterus. An intrauterine device is an IUD. The shedding of the uterine lining is menstruation. Dilation and curatage is abbreviated D and C. And testosterone is what? The male hormone. And dysmenorrhea is <laughs> painful menstruation. Now the female hormone should be hormones, but the female hormone, estrogen and progesterone. And fertilization is the same word as conception. All right, what develops inside each follicle? An ovum. And as the follicle enlarges, it migrates to the outside surface of the ovary. And these are usually benign and they may show symptoms of backache. What are those called? Fibroids. Inflammation of the testes or Itis. The inability to reproduce is sterility. Backward displacement of the uterus is retroversion. And true, or, these are going to be some true or false ones. Female sex cells are called zygotes. <laughs> I'm not giving you the answer. A fertilized cell is an egg. Fallopian tubes are about four inches long and are attached to the ovaries. True or false? Rupture of the graphene follicle and ovulation are the same thing. Okay, female reproductive system is composed of two ovaries, two fallopian tubes, a uterus, and a vagina. From conception to two months, the fertilized ovum is known as an embryo. Later, it is called a Fetus. The union of the ovum and the sperm is called fertilization or conception. Each individual has how many chromosomes? All right? And pretty much you study the other parts of the worksheets I gave you, and you're going to have this diagram, the same one I sent you, the diagram. All right? So everybody go study. Good luck. And I'm going to come back in a little bit and do intro with you. All right? Okay. Don't forget, Monday, your virtual library and your um, flip cards are due. And then next Wednesday, I know I had the date wrong, but next Wednesday, 8 o'clock, here for checkoffs. All right? Electronic medical records. That's it. All right, love. See you in a little bit.